Welcome back to another video. I'm Annabelle if you're new here and today's video is gonna be super fun because it's something that I consider myself pretty experienced in and also I'm going to be turning 16 in less than a month so this is finance tips while I'm still 15. So let's dive into it. Okay guys let's talk about it. While we're talking I'm gonna kind of be using my new cash organizer since it fits the scheme of things so I have a whole big stack of tips from my job which I will talk about and um let's organize it so step one I kind of made a list over here step one it's prepping so I kind of started this journey when I was 11 12 and really thought about kind of my goals like my my goals from that time in my life and my goals for future me so Starting off with my goals for that time was, for example, I wanted a laptop, right? I loved using laptops. I made lists. I liked researching things. So that was one of my short-term goals. So I looked up, you know, different laptops and I found one for $300. It was just an HP Chromebook, like touchscreen, blah, 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 $300. So I had that short-term goal in my mind and I started saving up for it. So then I had like long-term goals. It's kind of hard to explain how I did this, but I had long-term goals, which were um, horses, right? I wanted horses. That was like a big goal of mine, definitely, was horses, horses, horses. I wanted to either buy a ranch or make a ranch with our property. And, you know, obviously I didn't get super in depth at that time, but that was one of my goals. Kind of think about that and what were jobs that I could do that would give me more experience with that. So I helped out at um, my local ranch that I ride at. I helped out by, you know, cleaning the tack room, cleaning actual tack, um, riding horses, running horses for people. So that was like part of my goal. So like, let's say you're really into fashion design. Maybe you could start sewing things and maybe make like a small business. I know lots of, you know, young girls or boys even that start a business while they're young like again bracelet making social media is so prominent now so using that as a tool i mean if your parents allow it get youtube start a youtube channel or get instagram have an etsy shop anything like that just figure out what your long-term goals are and it might change and that's totally fine but what you like in the moment and maybe something that you'll pursue when you're older turn that into money you know you can still have things that you do that aren't for money. I mean, YouTube is something I don't do for money. I just do it because I love talking. <laughs> and I think that people could get some useful information out of it. And then even my blog that I have, which, I mean, I have not worked on that in a while, but that's something that when I do want to work on it, I can just write a blog post. So those are things that don't make money. But other things that I really love to do, I can make money through them. So yeah, my horses, um, zero waste stuff, like even I can have a small business if I want to. So that's why it's so important to really, you know, use that information about your goals and kind of prep yourself for making money. So then next tip, I guess, is starting of getting that job. Like I, you know, mowed lawns, all of that, clean tech. So you could start a small business, things like that. Really get started on that. And then third save so you need to find a system that works for you for saving money so you could either um have your parents put in a, put it into an account for you i use the envelope system with cash because i always got cash when i was younger i don't know how prominent it is even just in the few years since i was 12 cash seems way less more than it is now so you know either put cash in envelopes, have your parents save it for you, get checks, things like that. Like, figure out a system that works for you. I mean, even just like, yeah, keeping a bunch of cash in a jar or keeping coins in a jar, anything like that. So find a system that works for you to save that money. Then, since I'm guessing that 15-year-olds would watch this, I'm going to kind of talk about resumes um if you're younger no worries i mean you could get started on it if you're in high school but if even if you're younger than high school no worries about that start a small business and just do little jobs here and there okay but if you're 15 or older maybe you're watching this and you're 17 or 18 but if you're older just 
get started on your resume i know it's a pain trust me it's so like you have to think about everything what have you done in the past but just try to put down your you know your experience your school if you're still in school if you're done with school and then you know if you've had previous jobs even i put like house sitting and pet sitting and working at a ranch so you could put that stuff down too you could put anything you want down but just to really show your experience because when you're 15 15 and a half at least in California, it's time to start looking for a job. And especially because of my goals that I had, you don't have to get a job now. But because of the goals that I have, I wanted to get a job right away. I mean, in August of last year, I started looking for jobs. And I applied everywhere. But I tried to apply for places that really suit what I want to do with my future. So I applied to a meat shop to learn how to butcher meat because that's something that I want to do in the future. I also applied to a natural food store because... I love natural food store. They, you know, they do like classes and you learn about everything. So I applied there and then I applied at a coffee shop just to learn how to really be a people person, to work with people, to obviously make drinks, things like that. And then um, in the end, I applied to Taco Bell, which I did get hired there very quickly. So if you're looking for something like quick, quick, quick and not too much of a small business person, apply to fast food. That's the easiest that you could go. They will answer your calls they will do everything and it's very easy and just a great way to make money so start on your resume try to get any experience that you can in the field that you want to pursue so i mean having ranch hand experience is totally perfect for my goals and also coffee shop because i have ideas of starting a coffee shop as i get older as well so i have that experience too so just kind of make that list whether it's mental or physical of the experience that you want to get to achieve your goals because that's the whole point of this right is to be able to achieve your goals in this lifetime so then kind of i think tip five i'm kind of all over the place sorry about that is cards banks so this is a lot for me credit score any of that stuff is so much but i actually took like a it was like a club and we learned about things for college so excuse me so some of the things that we learned about was um, your debit card and your credit card. So I have a debit card because you can get a debit card, I think, after you turn 15 to um, under your parents' name, you know, because you're not a legal adult. But under your parents' name, you can get a debit card. I was in um, Safe Credit Union with my mom, so she just made and she already had a gift certificate for me, which that's actually a really smart thing to do. It's a gift certificate almost like a savings account, but I cannot access it till I'm 21. So basically we can put as much money as we want in there, but we can't take any money out. So we can just put, put, put for, you know, college debt for that time. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you want to buy a fancy car. Just put a bunch of money in this account and you cannot access it. So it's almost like, you know, even any of those urges that you have for buying something, you cannot access this money. I have about $2,000 in it right now. Which, you know, as I get older, I might put more money in it and add more stuff in it. But yeah, so I highly recommend that and getting a debit card because you start to learn that, you know, make money. Maybe you got a job, like I said, so you have, um, you know, online checks that need to go somewhere. Instead of using your parents' account, they go on your own and then you have a debit card that you can access. So then, you know, use your debit card. And you can start actually making purchases for things that you would like personally or for other goals that you have or save it up, which I highly re recommend saving up. I actually heard of this system that I believe it was 50% like needs and then I think it was 30% saving and 20% wants. So keep that 50% for your needs. I mean, clearly, you know, we're talking about rent, cars, gas money, any animals that you have, clothing, blah, 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 like needs. And then you have your savings, which is 30%. So then you're putting like retirement fund, um, any of that stuff, 20% once. And that'll all go towards things that you want to buy that are fun, right? Like, oh, like there was a fancy jacket at a thrift store, but it was $100, you know, things like that. So I feel like that's a really good system, especially when you're young. And I actually hear in my little notepad that I have um getting a tax-free savings account for retirement once you get a debit card you know you're going to be opening up an account banks like Wells Fargo Bank of America 
um, Capital One, they all support a lot of things that are harmful to the environment. So make sure to do your research before you choose a bank to go with. Safe Credit Union is not the best, but that's what my parents use. Um, as I get older, I actually am thinking about getting a credit and debit card with this place called Aspiration. It's actually this green banking where every time you use money, and especially with your credit card, it actually goes to planting trees, plus it's green banking, so anything that you do is going to be better for the environment than, like I said, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Capital One. So please do your research, just even that little bit is going to help the environment so, so, so much, so please do that. Then, um, credit card, you can legally have a credit card when you're 18, but you can get it earlier and you can start building that credit score now. Do, you know, have good habits, pay it off as soon as you can, use it smartly, but also make big purchases and have loans. It's a balance between using it really well and also spending a lot of money, but being able to pay it back because the goal is to use it a lot but not overuse it. So find out that happy medium, you know, talk to your parents, talk to adults, talk to girls and boys that are older than you to figure that out. I can even talk more about this if anyone wants any more information because I'm thinking about applying for a credit card pretty soon. I only have a debit card right now. Um, but you know, still everyone, as I'm editing this, I just had to say, I went to Safe Credit Union and asked if I could apply for a credit card. And they said that I had to wait till I was 18. So unfortunately, I cannot apply for a credit card right now or get any loans in case if anyone else is with Safe Credit Union, um, you do have to wait till you're 18. Young, still figuring it out, but yeah. So then we're going to talk about people incomes. So I really think that, especially if you want to hustle, <laughs> I really think that you need to focus on having multiple incomes because when you have multiple streams if one of them dies out you're gonna be okay you're you know if you have let's say you have your small business right maybe you have a youtube channel that's doing really well maybe you have um an actual like mcdonald's job and then maybe you house sit every month okay you have those four well, four streams of income and let's say all of a sudden um your small business dies. There's, you're not making any sales, nothing. It's not that that's, that's not all you're riding on. You have those other income streams still. So I think it's important to have multiple streams when you're thinking about possibly, you know, getting other things going, um, starting to go around, see if I can clean houses and organize houses. I'm thinking about making a flyer. So, you know, you really want to try to have those multiple streams of income especially um you know during the summer even more so try to get more and more coming in the coffee shop is pretty stable for me so that's why i only have that as my income right now but try to try to have those different outlets right try to have like that it's like the little um safety net like it's a little safety net in the back that you know that if something happens you're gonna be okay i mean you know just for if you have other things that are relying on you like again like maybe you bought you want to buy a car and you're like oh and then you buy it and you have loans and then all of a sudden you can't make any more money and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh or maybe you have to move or anything and you're like how am I gonna make this car payment so then what you have to do is have that safety net behind you of saving I don't know 500 to a thousand dollars which is a lot so once it gets there you know let it stay and be able to have that behind you where if something goes wrong, you have extra money. So, but, you know, just try to save as much as you can. So we talked about your goals. We talked about small businesses, getting jobs, saving money, finding a system for saving your money, starting a resume, getting just an easy stream of income, having multiple streams of income, having a debit card and a credit card. Um, retirement account, savings account, and checking account, obviously. Um, I think that's it. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to try to edit this down the best I can because I was all over the place. But these are just some of my finance tips that I have. Maybe I'll do a part two if this actually blows up. But just try to talk to people that have experience, too. Um, 
you can always, always, always comment on any of my videos and I will give you all my tips that I can. I'm actually going to be getting Instagram soon. Um, I would love if you would go follow me on there once I get it. It's going to be my same handle that I have on YouTube. So super easy to find. Give me a follow, DM me once, once we get there, <laughs> hopefully soon. Um, follow me and DM me once I get that and I will answer all of your questions on there as well because... Everyone deserves a chance to figure out how to be financially successful while they're still young. Um, but anyways, love you if you're family. Love you even more. And uh, I hope you have an amazing day or night. And goodbye.